Hi, I'm wine expert Susie Atkins and you're watching Majestic Wine, where I'm going to tell you where in the world to find distinctive and high quality wines. One golden rule I really think when it comes to buying good wine is to go for smaller producers, wines that are being made in smaller quantities, more handcrafted if you like. For example, Bourgogne, Burgundy, has lovely dry white wines, it has wonderful soft juicy red wines, and it has sparkling wine too, Cremant de Bourgogne. The Douro Valley produces fortified, strong, powerful wines in the form of port, but also table reds and whites too. I mean, wine is continually changing and you can never quite predict what it's going to be like. That's one of the exciting things about wine. But if you go to a really great region with a long heritage and a good reputation, you really should expect to get a very good bottle of wine. Obviously some wines are delicious on their own, you don't need food with them, it's great aperitif, but lots of wines are only enhanced by being matched with the right food. And it's all about balance, I feel. It's about getting rich wines, like rich big reds, say the Douro Valley reds, with kind of powerful food, like a big hearty meat casserole. And obviously lighter wines, refreshing wines, acting almost like a squeeze of lemon, something like a Chablis over seafood and light fish and chicken dishes. And then there's some surprises. For example, I love Chardonnay with just a piece of Parmigiano Reggiano and a light red like a Pinot Noir. It's delicious with Parma ham. What I always say to people who really want to start on a journey to discover you know, better quality wine is try not to get stuck in a rut buying the same wine week in, week out, because there's so much out there to explore. And also to buy on region, on geography, not just price, not just a catchy brand name, not just the same grape variety, but look at where wine comes from and explore your way around the wines of a region. But wine should be about a place and it should come from specific parts of the world where you can really identify the traditions and the flavours that are produced in that one corner of the winemaking world.